What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make those Tiger and Offset club bangers. Let's get into it. For these beats, we're going to be around 90 BPM. I have a simple clap, hi-hat, 808 kick, open hi-hat. I have Keyscape loaded, Nexus loaded, and I'm actually going to start this one off with a flute loop from the Dollar Sound Club and their pack, Flute Volume 1. They're a really cool company that's sponsoring today's video. They have a bunch of packs for $1 and then they have a $5 membership that you can get, which gives you access to all the one dollar kits for free and you can receive discounts on artist series kits that they have so like i said super cheap one dollar packs really cool ones this flute loop is going to be dope we're going to layer a lot of stuff with it so go check them out got a link in the description they're sponsoring today's video let's go So it sounds real good. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and use FL keys and uh, play out the MIDI. And so we have something to go off of and you guys can kind of see what notes this loop is playing. So I'm just gonna go into FL keys and I'm going to play out the notes and we're gonna go from there. Let me go ahead and get rid of this scale highlighting because uh, we're not using it. Let's pitch it down to check. Perfect, so now we have that, we'll probably go ahead and layer a bell with that, but as long as we have this, guide will be good. So this is gonna be uh, the first part of it. The next part I wanna do is actually just get a vocal. So I'm gonna go in and find some vocal I wanna use. The vocal is probably one of the biggest parts of these beats. So let's go ahead and bring this vocal in. Uh, let's make sure that it's in key, uh, we need it on C. So let's go ahead and drop it down. Select this C, cool. This is gonna be good now. So let's go ahead and just call this vocal. All right, so I'm gonna take the vocal and I'm just gonna link it into the mixer track. And now let's go ahead and start getting some notes going. And I kind of want to have this spaced out a bit more because the flute's playing more consistent, so I'm going to space the vocal out. All right, so we're going to start down here on C. We're going to go up to D sharp. And then down to G. Let's see, let's run it like that. It's gonna be the first phrase. And then I kinda wanna have it switch for the second phrase, so. Let's go here. And then back to D. See, do, do. Maybe down to C. Cool, and you see how it even changes how we have it set up. See how even the timing changes, right? This one's kind of more spaced out. And then on this one, we have it playing right after instead of being spaced. And that's gonna create a cool little switch up on the second part too. So our notes change as well as the arrangement of the notes, which actually gives it a really cool tone. Let's go ahead and randomize this a little bit. And I'm probably gonna pitch this up. And let's go over here and put some delay and reverb on this. So I'm just gonna use the fruity reverb for this. Let's open this up and let's go something like this. And then let's get a delay on it. That's gonna be the biggest part of this. And I'm probably gonna go with like a quarter note. So have this preset. So now I'm going to layer in the clap on the two and the four. I have it set on loop. Let's go ahead and put in a hi-hat pattern. And then what we're going to do is come over here and actually shift it over a tiny bit. 
and then we're going to go in here and randomize the velocities just a little bit so let's go like this let's delete these because we're going to run just like this so let's go Cool. Now we have a little bit of accent notes going on the hi-hat and it's a little bit off time. So it sounds more real, gives it more groove. Let's throw this over here like this. This is sounding good. Let's throw in this open hi-hat. So now what I want to do is actually take this uh, MIDI that we made to follow and I'm going to actually replace this with Omnisphere and probably flare some type of bell or something that's going to follow that flute. So let's go over here and let's see, let's get some type of bell. I'm going to turn this down, I don't want it too loud. All right, now let's go into Keyscape and let's get a piano. I want to go with the uh, cinematic one and let's just lay down some chords to kind of follow. So it's probably just going to be about two chords we're laying down. So basic chord is just going to follow along and then I think we drop down to G sharp yeah so let's just layer that cool pitch this down and then let's actually invert the middle note so like this and then control up arrow all right this has to go down okay now it's making sense i was kind of confused for a second Let's see, like this, go up. And let's bring everything up. And let's add one more note. And now let's randomize these and strum them. That's sounding good. Let's pan it over here. And now let's get an 808 going. So let's go into this 808 and we're just gonna follow uh, C and G sharp since those are our root notes. And let's actually go up a bit higher for this so we can hear it and let's find a cool tone that we wanna use. I'm actually going to put a clipper on my master. This is actually from tuning the vocal so we don't need that anymore. Let's just put a soft clipper on just in case so it doesn't go too loud for the tutorial. And for this, all I'm really trying to do is find a groove for this type of beat. So if you listen to any of these type of beats, especially the club type of beats, they have a certain swing to them, right? So I want it to be like boom, 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 ba -ba boom, and then drop down. And then we're gonna have probably a note that's gonna raise up at the end to come back in. So let's go ahead and find that groove. So I already like that, doom, 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 right? And then let's see. And let's put a double right here. And then this is where we're gonna drop down, but we're gonna keep this same rhythm. So let's go over here, drop down to G since that's our next root note. And then I wanna go bum, 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 so. just like that let's make sure we like the pattern let's put a drop right there too and then back up cool this sounds good and then what we're gonna do is probably have to pitch this up because it's gonna be too low so let's go a higher G and then pitch this one up too Cool, that sounds good. We need to actually bring this flute down, chords, 
And um, now let's layer in a kick. So let's go into the kick. Cool. This is just a rat kick too. If you guys are wondering, let's bring the velocity up. And let's just layer it like every... I'm not going to follow exactly where the 808 is. I'm just going to accent certain notes. See, I could be following it perfectly, but I really just want to accent certain notes of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Kind of the beginning and middle notes. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw one at the end here and it kind of accents it more. We can actually like do doubles and stuff here, which will sound cool. We'll see how it sounds. Let's try it out. So, hmm. that one sounds pretty cool. I think I'm going to just leave it with this one though. I think that sounds best for it. So this is sounding really nice. It's coming out clean. And then the last thing we're going to add is something from Nexus. Let's go with this one. Or right, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, piano and string sounds dope. So let's go ahead and find like a second melody to throw down with this. So let's go do do. Let's try to play something. Let's see. Okay, cool. So I'm kind of hearing it. So I want it to go like this. All right, that sounds really good. Let's go ahead and pitch it down. Cool, so now let's go ahead and just do a little bit of arranging to this so we can kind of hear what it would sound like. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below who else you would like to see me cover or what other style of beats you would like to see me cover. You guys can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit the site, lifestyledid.com for everything else. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. Push notifications. Thanks.